You hear what Lazarus been saying? This country's falling apart, man. States are looking to leave the Union. Look, I told you, if you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get... I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not some... Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to give that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. Thank you.
can, but don't get your panties in a bunch if you get hung up on. We detect even the slightest suspicious fluctuation in signal, we have to shut down. The World Order and their team of expert hackers could be trying to trap us. That's why we have to create a covert host site for every new stream and then shut it down immediately once the call's over. I'm sitting here, just me and my tech team in a twist of the Access granted. Access granted.
Jensen, I have a message for you, from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. An extremely regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person to Do offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to the Humanity Front. My people well, have worked tirelessly to find why. a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Sarek, united in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man who's in a vein... Hello? Did you see it on the news? Eliza mentioned. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there.
Don't get me started on that liberal crap. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't think I can. It all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. I know. It's just so hard. What could I have done different? I ask myself that every day. And then I remember what it was really about all along. You. You got the order. You refused it and it got shoved onto me. I did the only thing I could do. You understand that? I just wish it could finally be over so I could live my life. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. Sounds good. Later. An extremely regrettable affair. I I'd very much like... Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hospital...
Access granted. of the Humanity Front Group. The pro-human organization had received permission to gather in protest earlier in the week, but police decided to shut down the legal rally prematurely and close the front door. You supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderley I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bolt would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix.
Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Jensen, long time no see. Jensen, my God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. You look a little different too, Xander. What's your new gig? Deep cover. I'm keeping tabs on the derelict rowballers for now. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now. And we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever. And we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay. And where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Okay. But we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True, but thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me, I usually play by the book. Only this time... The bad guy's a friend of the publisher. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? 
Information, drugs, weapons, basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Never let T-Boss be booking me with no cars. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. 
Don't worry, Cassandra, this is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. So far, Mr. Yes? Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is Eliza Cassandra. Well, maybe next week. According we'll to you, see. Live from Piper. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spattered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Thank you. 
Establishing security system. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo.